Hello and welcome to the presentation of this solution pattern where we want to show how to build an extendable multi-channel messaging platform. So what does that mean? All right, let's start with the problem scenario. So it's quite common in large organizations uh, where employees need to liaise with uh, various uh, departments and groups, but it, they all use different uh, collaboration tools such as Microsoft Teams or perhaps Google Chat or Slack. And as you can imagine, conversations are very fragmented and uh, cause a lot of degradation. And ultimately, this is uh, very costly for the company because of the waste of time. So what we propose uh, here today is um, a unified platform where we interconnect all of these collaboration tools and they all behave as one instance messaging hub. And at its core, we have uh, an open architecture that allows for pluggable services and capabilities, enriching the platform and giving us uh, further uh, functionality. Now, this is a very generic uh, use case, uh, but uh, it can be applied to many particular ones. And so for our demo, we have taken the solution pattern and applied it uh, to a customer support service. Uh, so in this case, what we see is a system uh, where we allow different customers to access uh, different uh, channels and pose their problem so that they can contact uh, support teams. And at the other end, then we see uh, different teams from uh, different uh, platforms uh, with access to those uh, questions. So for example, we have the first line of support that can attend, welcome the, the, the user, see what the initial problem is, but then perhaps hand over uh, the problem to the technical support team that is able to actually resolve it. And what's unique here is that uh, both, even though they uh, contact or they access from different platforms, they can have access to the same conversation and support cases, and they can collaborate and have a conversation with the customer in the same in the same way. Uh, right, so let's see all of that uh, in action in our demo. So we jump to our environment and here we have one of the namespaces we use where we have deployed all the elements. Now, not all the um, deployments are uh, represented here, only a few. We have uh, various namespaces where everything else is also deployed, like Apache Kafka uh, to uh, pick up all of the events or uh, Red Hat uh, Data Grid uh, to cache uh, information and so on. But uh, what uh, we want to showcase are the main pieces. So here, for example, we have uh, Rocket Chat. So this would be the system them from where users or customers uh, could connect and post uh, their problems. Uh, there's an integration here uh, done with Apache Camel uh, that then posts all of those messages to uh, an AMQ uh, broker uh, that handles all the asynchronous exchanges. And on the other end, then we have Element, which is the user interface for Matrix, another uh, instant messaging platform that is open source and we, have, uh, we can easily deploy here, uh, from where we are going to simulate the agents. All right, so let's open Rocket Chat. Uh, so this is uh, where customers uh, can uh, log in and then uh, open cases. So we are going to pretend we are one of the customers and uh, we have a login uh, window here. And for example, we can log in as user one and uh, we enter and then we will be presented with the usual you know instant messaging interface but here we have a dedicated channel called uh, globex uh, support uh, channel uh, for user one uh, which is dedicated and private uh, to to us and basically here we can post uh, our problem we say hi uh, i have a problem uh, with my uh, promo uh, code it doesn't work for example, please help. So when we post that, we see immediately uh, uh, shown here in the uh, conversation history and uh, right, so this will be the contact, uh, the way the customer can contact agents. Uh, so now what we are going to do is we are going to go to the very uh, other end and pretend we are an agent. So we are going to open uh, the uh, instant messaging uh, for agents and here we just sign in again uh, we will use a different uh, username just so that uh, it's uh, we don't get confused uh, we log in and we are going to have a different interface because it's a different uh, platform 
so basically here what we see uh, is actually an invite and so this has been dynamically generated uh, when the customer posted uh, their question and so what we have is we see here uh, the, the, the pattern the convention here is we see the uh, system uh, where it originates so in this case it is uh, rocket chat and the user that has posted the question so we click on it and then all we need to do is just to accept to join this room uh, so we accept it and then we are going to see the history and of course we see the question from the customer which is uh, i have a problem with my promo code it doesn't work please help uh, so we can welcome the, the the customer we say hello and then tell um, a uh, technical agent will be with you in a moment and then post we press enter and we post it and as we post it, uh, then that should be taken back uh, to the customer. And then we see on Rocket Chat that effectively uh, it gets uh, the message uh, from the agent. Now here, uh, now what we want to simulate is even though we only have a matrix as the platform uh, for agents to connect to, it doesn't really matter. We can sign out and uh, log in as a different uh, username. So let's say user three. Uh, to pretend uh, we are a technical agent. Now imagine uh, here that instead of matrix we use a different platform. For the sake of the demo it doesn't really matter because uh, it's a pluggable and extendable um, uh, architecture. Uh, but imagine we are using a different uh, platform. So here we say uh, all right user three and uh, we connect as a different user. This is a technical uh, user. And uh, again, we see an invite as well. So uh, from the same originating source. Uh, so when we click on it and we accept the invite as earlier uh, we did, now we see the entire conversation, not only uh, with the question posted by the uh, customer, but also uh, what initially the first line of support agent uh, answered uh, to the customer. And here we can say, um, hi, uh, we've, uh, for example, identified the problem and have uh, fixed it. Please try again. Right, we post that answer from the technical team and uh, we see uh, that now not only we are getting uh, messages uh, from um, first line of support but also from technical agents. Uh, so here we say great, uh, it works Please close the ticket. Right. So, um, yeah, we get a notification here. This is the customer that uh, did answer. And, uh, well, we can end the, the session here. And uh, something uh, that we actually shown on the slide was that uh, we can have pluggable uh, services that are connected uh, to this platform. And that's exactly what I want to showcase next. So how do we end the conversation here? Well, we can leave uh, the room here and uh, these uh, then we'll close the conversation. But actually what it is happening is that behind the scenes, we are monitoring this signal, uh, the signal where uh, the conversation ends. And at that moment in time, uh, we are triggering a process that is going to actually replay all the events that were stored in Apache Kafka. And uh, the, uh, the conversation is going to be replayed and we are going to generate a transcript uh, in PDF format. And then we are going to push that into storage. Uh, so all, all of that uh, is going to happen automatically the moment uh, we leave this uh, room and then uh, the customer should be notified. So when we click uh, leave here, then we can quickly go to Rocket Chat and you see that we have an automated answer here that says your session ended, conversation is now closed. And then another message has uh, shown up uh, fully automated that is going to give us a link to that PDF transcript which is stored on an S3 uh, bucket and that we can actually click and open. And if we do, then we see the full uh, conversation, uh, the full history with both agents assisting, right? And the customer participation as well. Uh, so, uh, so this uh, shows how we can enrich uh, the platform uh, with additional services that can prove uh, very helpful. Right, so this was uh, using the Rocket Chat uh, channel, but let me show to you the other, the secondary channel as well, uh, uh, which would be like a simulated online uh, web application shop. So I've changed uh, to a different namespace uh, where we have the uh, web application that is also integrated with Apache Camel. We see as well the transcript uh, uh, process that uh, uses uh, S3 storage 
and then uh, some uh, matrix and so on. But okay, so let's uh, open the online uh, chat application or the online uh, shop. And so, uh, so we see here, this is the cool store. This is where customers can come in and buy articles, uh, but then they can log in and then have uh, personal assistance or uh, you know, support assistance. So let's do that. Uh, this is going to trigger uh, a single sign-on uh, login process. Uh, so here we have uh, various uh, usernames. Uh, so I'm going to use one of them. And when I log in, uh, then uh, basically it's going to show us uh, the, the same uh, interface. But then we have this uh, icon here with the uh, chat uh, option. So I'm going to click that and then this is going to display yeah, uh, a chat uh, uh, text box uh, where we can type uh, images here. So hello, uh, please help. Uh, my uh, promo uh, code doesn't uh, work. Right, so when I click uh, send here on the window, uh, then this is going to push it to the system and effectively on the other end then we see I'm going to close the historical um, view and then we see a new invite and this time the originating system is uh, Globex as we can see so it's no longer rocket chat and the username is uh, shown is displayed as well so as uh, silver so again what we can do here is we click uh, we accept to join this room and help the customer and basically here we can say hi uh, we've identified the problem and fixed it. Fixed it. Please try again. Please uh, try again. So we click uh, enter. And then if we go to the store, then we see the message. And so the customer is happy and says, uh, great, it works. Uh, please uh, close the issue. Right. So when we click uh, send, then effectively uh, we see the notification here. And as we did earlier, then we can consider these as a closed uh, problem. So we can leave. And then uh, when we click leave, this is going to trigger uh, the same process in the background. We see that we have, we have an automated message. And then we can open the transcript uh, where we see the back and forth uh, communications uh, from uh, both sides. And this is in essence, basically the demo, uh, just uh, showing the action rather than just diving into the namespaces and and all the pods and all of that. Uh, but then a quick recap, uh, then what we have seen is a platform that unifies all the messaging platforms, all the messaging uh, systems. And so with uh, these two systems that the customer can use to communicate with agents, on the other end, we only have Matrix, but it's not difficult to imagine here any other uh, platform from where different teams, uh, from dif uh, different support teams can uh, also connect and uh, participate. And all of this is powered by a bunch of Red Hat technologies behind the scenes here for example, uh, caching with a Red Hat data grid that is going to preserve uh, and keep the context of the full conversation so that we can correlate uh, all the exchanges between uh, customers and uh, agents. Then we have S3 storage uh, uh, to keep uh, the full conversations of those uh, PDF uh, files. Uh, then Apache Kafka with uh, streams uh, where all the events that are um, going back and forth, we can keep those, then replay afterwards to actually uh, uh, keep those and then generate uh, the, the transcript. And then we have uh, the AMQ broker that is asynchronously handling all the events uh, to integrate all of these systems uh, together. And something I haven't mentioned and we haven't shown on the demo just to keep it uh, short and not too long is the ability, this easy ability to actually plug in uh, new channels and services. And so this is something that is uh, fully uh, explained and detailed uh, in the uh, documentation that we have for this uh, solution pattern. So uh, you can see that uh, afterwards. But basically, as long as you comply with the data schema, then it's very easy to plug in services, not much uh, to do, and the same on the other end, as you can imagine. And uh, well, uh, if you liked uh, this uh, demo and uh, what you have seen, 
please uh, visit our Solution Patterns uh, catalog that's at uh, solutionpatterns.io and you will be able to find this particular solution pattern as well as many other interesting ones and if you click on it then you'll see all the details of the uh, explanations about how it is architected and uh, full uh, technical details or a full guide on how to provision an OpenShift environment uh, where you can deploy all the elements automatically and uh, play with the demo yourself and find out and uh, integrate uh, new systems as well. And with all of that, uh, just uh, uh, thank you everyone for listening and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.